So the next job is to install this um, slidey bit. Um, it's part of the, the care kit I can send you if, you, if you'd like one. Uh, put it in place. Now leave about a millimeter gap between this and that because you want it to be able to slide in and out easily. It, it can be close, but you don't want it too tight. Okay, once it's in, in place, I mark two hole. Um, when you're doing when when you're drilling these, don't don't plan to have your screws too close to the inside. Make them as far outwards as you can. Otherwise, the the wing nuts um, could foul on the sail track. Okay, so having made the two holes, I'll just drill them out. By the way, this, this part of the job you can do with roof up or roof down if you like. Obviously this is going to be in the way, so you need to lift this. You can either separate them with a piece of wood or something like that, or as in my case, I've got the bungees disconnected um, because I'm about to replace my seals. So there's, there's no issue with lifting them up separately. Once you've marked and drilled the holes for the um, lag screws, it pays to use one of your 8G screws and screw that into the holes because that helps just uh, ream the hole out a little bit uh, to make the lag screw a little bit easier to fit. So just screw those in and out and that's widened the hole just a teeny bit. Uh, now with the lag screws uh, you could spend a long time sitting looking at it and think how do I screw that in because there's nothing to grab hold of. So a little bit of um, science helps a lot here. If I can get a nut out of the tray and a wing nut. And again I include a, a couple of nuts and a couple of wing nuts in the, the care kit. Get the bolt end and screw the ordinary nut in uh, just about that far down and then screw the wing nut on top of that. Oh, get in. It doesn't want to play. Get in. There we go. Now once they're once they're in contact use a, a, is it a, six, no, it's a seven millimeter spanner to grab the, the nut and then a pair of pliers to grab the wing nut and twist them against each other. Okay, so what I'm doing now is jamming them together. Okay, once they're jammed you can put them in the hole and it's going to turn the whole screw, not just the, the nut on top. Okay, um, to remove it, and I doing this the first time you might need uh, pliers on the wing nut. I've already done this once so it's it's loose enough for me to play with. To remove it, don't just turn the wing nut because that'll just loosen the, uh, unjam the nuts. Use your spanner on the nut underneath. So that's the trick for jamming nuts together. Okay so we're actually ready to fit the slidey bit now so I'll just put some silicon over the holes. and preferably into the holes as well. But I don't want too much on the surface because that's going to stick itself to the um, removable sail track, therefore thereby negating everything we're doing. Um, so again, put the 
lag screw into the hole with the jammed nuts. Screw it down a long way. You don't want very much of this showing at the top because the wing nut uh, otherwise could start interfering with the, the roof. So get it down a fair way. It's a bit of a fiddly job, but it's not particularly difficult. And once you reckon you're down far enough, well that's unjammed them, so I can easily remove the wing nut and the other nut, and my stud is in place. Perfect. For the <laughs> slidey bit to slide onto. Got both my studs in place, and remember they've already been silicon, so we don't need to worry about that. The slidey bit slides on beautifully, and the wing nuts all lead down. Um, from this point on, you don't really need those nuts anymore. They're only there so that you can um, use them to help the jamming process. I, I include some washers with the kit, but to be honest, I never actually end up using them. Uh, they really don't serve much of a, a useful purpose. Now you see the wing nut goes on fairly easily, and once on, that's in place. Slightly slacken the wing nut, and the piece can be removed. Couldn't be easier. Um, I've marked um, on there where the sail track is, and I've just kind of chopped that off with an angle grinder. Like that. So that's that's got that clearance there. If you don't want to do that, uh, and it's only a little notch, again you could use this. Um, it's called EPDM sponge. This particular one is 4.5 millimeters by 25 millimeters. Uh, a strip of that across the top there would solve the problem. And also, having cut a hole, you could put a tiny bit of it. behind just to maintain the, the waterproofing qualities. I've never bothered but uh, you can if you want. 